welcome back to basic medical sciences right uh so if you are a retaining subscriber thank you so much and if you this is your first time please make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss any of our latest videos right so in the previous video uh, we talked about um stuff oils so you can click the link on the top right corner to watch it before watching this video uh in this video we are going to talk about coagulase negative staphylococci right right so these are mainly we're talking about uh staphylococcus epidemides and staphylococcus saprophyticus right so uh what we are going to do is that we are going to start with um staphylococcus epidemides we will talk about staphylococcus saprophyticus and lastly we will talk about the common features which are found on both uh, staphylococcus epidemides and staphylococcus saprophyticus so let's get into it so uh starting with uh, staphylococcus epidemides this bacteria is a uh, part of natural uh, skin flora so this bacteria is mainly known for uh, foreign body infections right for example prosthetic joints indwelling catheters and artificial implants for example if we talk about uh, prosthetic heart valves right it will lead to endocarditis right so this bacteria is able to cause all these conditions because uh, it's able to produce biofilm right so this biofilm uh, enables adherence right to these uh, foreign bodies right in addition to adherence the biofilm also can lead to antibiotic resistance right okay so here you can see uh this this yellow dots they are representing a bacteria i want to show you something there right so let's put more right right so um these are the bacteria they produce a biofilm so let's say this is a biofilm right so what happened is that um, a drug or an antibiotic will not be able to get in right because it will be blocked by this biofilm so it means uh, staphylococcus epidemides is resistant to a lot of antibiotics right so for treatment uh, we can use vancomycin right but the best way is to get rid of the implant that's replacing the implant um and a bonus point is that this bacteria staphylococcus epidemides does not ferment a manitol so in the previous video we compared um uh, staph aureus which ferment manitos and other species which doesn't and we had staph epidemides is our example right uh, but the most important thing you need to know this because uh, the way to differentiate Staphylococcus epidemides and Staphylococcus saprophyticus is using the drug Novobiosin, right? So you need to remember that Staphylococcus epidemides is Novobiosin sensitive, unlike uh staphylococcus saprophyticus which is novobiosin resistant right so uh staphylococcus saprophyticus is also part of normal uh, mucosa or skin flora right and it's mainly known for causing uh, uti infections that's urinary tract infections especially in sexually active females right so for treatment uh, generally we use uh, cephalexin right so cephalexin is a third generation cephalosporin uh, we can use this combination of amoxicillin clavulinate or ciprofloxacin right so that's all about staphylococcus saprophyticus right so let's conclude by talking about the common features right so the common features of staphylococcus epidemides and staphylococcus saprophyticus right I guess you know already that these are gram positive cocci uh they look like this right these are the grapes and there's a little different like with uh uh stuff because that one those ones were golden grapes right so these ones they're just 
effect grapes showing a gram positive staining right and the other thing is that uh, these bacteria are actually catalase positive an additional feature is that they are urease positive but you need to remember that in terms of urease, urease is mainly important if we talk about uh, bacteria like uh, Proteus and um, H. pylori. Okay, we will talk about them later, right? But just it's just an additional point. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up, leave a comment on the comment section. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you want more of these videos. Until next time, head bound.